Check it out, everyone. We're about to find out if the abandoned house has any brand new secrets. As you guys know, we got a couple Brookhaven updates, but we really haven't been exploring the abandoned house much. You know, the abandoned shack that's all the way down there. Yeah, that one. Well, we already have a few items from past updates, and we also have the new hacker base already set up, and also, we still have the school we can check out as well along with this. But before we do anything, guys, remember I have a brand new TV head that you can pick up now to either show your support or use it yourself. It's the Blue Retro TV head. The link's down below in the description, and don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment below with what you think I should look for next. There's a lot of secrets that we can check out. There's a lot of places to, to look around. And I really want to start exploring because you never know. Wolfpack may have added something secretive that we haven't discovered yet. There's so many things. So first of all, I'm going to the shack just to show you that it's completely empty still. Yep, we haven't loaded anything in yet. Well, there is one thing here, the note, which we already all know about at this point. Madison, I apologize for leaving, but was necessary to prevent the agency from harnessing the full power of the crystal. They will have to, to experiment, so Red River has been enacted. Avoid the agency at all costs. I don't know why that last part was so hard to say, but yeah, that's what's the only thing here right now. And also, I don't think, yeah, the button hasn't loaded in yet, so we're not going to worry about that right now. First of all is first, we got ourselves two items in hand. This one we, we don't really mess with because it doesn't really do much out here. So we're going to actually load in one thing first before we even use this right here. We have to do the red book. And also before we go any further, I'm going to load in the computer just so we can have it just to see if we get ourselves any brand new messages along the way. And I think you guys know where we're going from here. We're going to the hospital, load a few things in. We're actually going to click two things. We only need to click one. But the other one is just being clicked for other purposes and see if anything else will happen in the process. So we have to go up here. You know the same old story. Click the agency thing. Watch it burn. Yeah, burn. And then from there, we go down to here and we grab, not, not down to here to grab anything. We go down to here to clickety clack those. So a noise will sound when we do both of them. You get what I mean. But as you realize, the agency one, we're getting rid of all the evidence. But why are we getting rid of the evidence? Well, we don't know yet. Maybe the agency's trying to cover its tracks. Or maybe it's Mr. Wo uh, Brookhaven trying to do it. I almost said Mr. Wolfpack, and I don't know why. Maybe because they look very similar. Well, Marcus does. But yeah, after we finish that off, we got to go here and grab ourselves a book. This is all going to make sense soon, guys. This is all for the shack. I swear. I swear. So we're going to load the book in just like that. Then we're going to go up here and we're going to change this to the museum. We need the museum for this part because it's very necessary. So this does something and this does something. But if this is active, this can't be active. It'll, it'll make a lot of sense soon. So stay with me, guys. Watch to the end because we're going to show some crazy things or even find new crazy things. And you guys will be here with me along the way. So as we know, greed and fear appear which shows us this guy right here. So he's looking at the book, and I'm starting to assume maybe he burnt the book, and that's why the abandoned shack looks the way it does. Maybe he burnt it in there and destroyed the evidence. Get what I'm trying to say? It's, it's, it kind of makes sense, right? Right? Okay, well, either way, now we got the book, and that's all set. We're also going to load in one other thing that may coincide with the hacker base. Like I said last time, we can't load it in, so we're not going to do it. And I really wish we could, but the motel is supposed to be there. So we're not going to go to the abandoned shack because I highly doubt anything's going to be over there. But you guys will be mad if I don't. But we have to do one other thing before we go over there. As you guys know, the agency base is right here. And we're going to activate everything inside of it right now. So... As you realize, we got all of these lights lit up right now. We got a bunch of them, actually. So that's pretty awesome to see. And then we're going to click on all of these. And if you guys remember, this is not clickable. But we can still click this, and it doesn't currently do anything. It looks like it does lead to something, but we don't know what it leads to. So we completed all that now, and now, now, we can head to the abandoned shack. You thought I was going to head the other way. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. We're going back there right now just to show you guys something that there's currently nothing there. If there is something there, then we have discovered something new. 
But if there is nothing there currently, we didn't discover anything. The next step we're about to do, there will be something there. I'm just going to make that very clear to you guys. So there we go. There is nothing here right now, but we're still not done. We now have the hacker base. The hacker base probably is not going to give us anything new, but check this out. This is from the book right now, just for those that had not seen it. The book needs you to follow it in everything. It knows what is best and you do not follow it blindly and do exactly what it says. So the castle kind of reaffirmed this a while ago and we're not going to load the castle. And even though to be fair to you, I really haven't done the abandoned shack with the castle. So that could be something right there. So we need the secret key card, which is not really a secret. And we're going to go all the way back here. Yep, that's right. We're going into this room. And we're going to see if anything changed. Uh, this is, again, a world map. And we don't know where Brookhaven is supposed to be located. But we're just going to typey type on this. We're going to take the crystal out. We're going to actually touch things with the crystal to see if anything happens. Like, we have this infinity sign behind us. And I'm not sure if that's actually what it is. But I am assuming it is the infinity sign. So we're turning the lights off. Nothing really is different. The lights even on the computers turn off. That was a little bizarre. We also have the book. Sitting in the seat does not do anything. But we have this. This right here is actually the thing that I mainly want to focus in on this episode. And we're already probably halfway through. And the reason why this is so important is because, if you guys did not notice, in the thumbnail it shows Marcus. And Marcus is also found in the electrical plant. Uh, not the electrical plant. The, uh upstairs of the police station he's there with this so we now have this and this does do something make that very clear to you guys it does do something and we're gonna be doing that right now so this actually activates something else in the museum yeah that's right currently this does not activate something in the museum we can try right now and it won't do anything but check this out we'll do this first see see the crystals even right here we can touch the crystals to each other they don't do anything. And over here, they don't do anything. But if we take this out and we connect this with this, we connect. Yeah, there we go. I was going to say we connect this with this. There we go. There we go. So that gave us something new over here. It shows us where to go. And I just want to further, like, say before we continue on from here, this is probably what the cave is referring to. That the crystal and the stick need to touch each other to cause something to happen inside the cave. We're not exploring the cave today. And I have done this before. And nothing was in there. But I also have not checked it since the update. So we might be doing this all over again. But I don't want to move on yet, guys. I want to go and change something in here as well. I doubt it's going to mean anything. But we're going to change it to the western front. Yeah, that's right. We're going to change it to this, guys. And you know what? I'm just going to take the crystal out just for a moment. I'm going to go through each of the doors. Like, I know this is meant to be abandoned shack. Don't get me wrong. But this might lead to the abandoned shack. So we're just going to do one of these. I'm not even looking at that mountain in the background. Yeah. No, I didn't hear a sound. I thought I heard a sound for a second. I, that's why I went quiet. If you guys heard a sound at that point, please tell me down below in the comments. Because I don't want to know if I'm crazy or not. And now we go all the way back to the shack, which is on the other side of the map. And I want to be clear again, because a lot of people that don't know about this secret will probably freak out in the comments going, Oh my gosh, I haven't seen this before. That's new. It's not new. It is not new. This is actually old. You can actually see it from right here right now. So we got all this loaded in. So we're going to load the computer back up just for a moment. So you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, so let's see what the message says. Uh, follow the book. So the book message still shows even after doing this part right here. So, okay. We got this guy loaded in. Pretty sweet. As you realize, there's nothing over here. This opens when the button opens. And this is going to be different on every one server. The numbers aren't going to be the same, guys. We got the paper over here. Okay, so we don't have anything looking new. I guess and we can't currently sit in this see we can't do anything with this we can't do anything with the crystal this doesn't do anything I can put it like right inside of them this does nothing hey you want the book 
You want the book? Yeah, see, it does nothing. But now, now we get to go back. Well, oh, I flipped. We get to go back here yet again and see if that secret room loaded anything in. I'm being doubtful at this point, but you never know. You really, really don't. So here we go, back inside. Down below. Into the secret we go. Okay, I'm just checking out some of this stuff. Like, this right down here? I don't know what that is. But it's whatever it wants to be. It's whatever it wants to be, okay? We have the world map over there. Wait, hold on. Did the world map change? No. No, no, it didn't. It didn't. I thought it changed for a second. Like, something else highlighted. Is something highlighted on that and I missed it, guys? Tell me down in the comments. You know how it works. Let me in here. So, it looks like we got nothing here. The book, follow the book. Got the crystal. Got that. Got cool, 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 cool. Now, let's check the cameras. Nothing loaded in the secret rooms. Okay, dokely. See, nothing happens with this. We have no secret buttons below here, which is kind of upsetting. But there is one final thing I want to check. And we loaded in a bunch of stuff. Just making that very clear, guys. So, uh, if we do find something, one of these will be leading to it. But that doesn't mean that they are the exact formula. It might be done, have to be done in a certain order. Which makes sense. Because each one has a certain order that things need to be done. But we know the starting order for each of these. So, well, this one... This one's completely different, but we'll talk about that one in another video altogether. But as you realize, guys, we actually loaded literally everything in. And I'm going to give the hacker base a little bit more power, by the way, before we go to the, the back to the other base. Well, not the base, the house. And now that we have all that done, I have one final thing I want to check. And it's one of the most sussy ones out of it all. It's the bomb. And the reason why I'm loading the bomb in... Is because it gives us everything as if it's going to explode. And it was also in the criminal base. So it makes me feel like this item might actually have more than it might seem. What does that mean? It means that you might have to put it in a certain spot. In a certain location to cause something to happen. And I know you guys are saying right now. The cave dars F. Duh. Tried it already. Literally when the update dropped. I tried it with the bomb and everything. So we're going to put the bomb there. And now we have to unclick that and activate it. I doubt anything's going to happen, but we're going to wait to see. For all we know, it can blow a hole in the floor. Actually, I should probably have put it in the center, but we're going to see if anything happens with this guy. And check that out. So, 16 of 15. Still nothing. Like, I'm going to check the computer, too. I know I'm blocking, and it looks like I'm trying to hide something. Okay, it still says the book. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3... Two and a zero. Boom. Okay, so that did literally nothing. So let's throw that baby right there and let's try it again. So as you realize, nothing is happening, but it kind of makes sense that it might work or might not work. But yeah, the reason why I'm believing that maybe the agency came here and burnt the place down in the process, also burning the evidence of the agency is because of the the way the house looks. And we also know Mr. Brookhaven apparently probably lived in it at one point. So we got that as well. So let's come on. Blow up. Do it for me. Do it. Do it. And boom. Nothing again. We'll do one more bomb right there. And we'll see if anything changes. Actually, would this activate anything? Like we magically teleport to another dimension. So when I see this and I see this. I think we need to sit in form, some form of chair to make it activate. Or we need this. Or we need all the items combined. Which is a possibility. But as you guys know, we can't currently click on him. He does nothing. See, I'm doing it all. And did we get the boom? Oh, wow. All that time and nothing boomed. Come on. Boom for me. And boom. So, as we realize that does nothing, to be fair... I was actually expecting something like this to happen. And that would have actually changed a lot of the stuff that we're seeing right now. Why, why are you still open? Like, see this? That actually looks like something crazy has happened. Like, there's a hole in the floor or something like that. And I honestly feel like that is the case that's going to happen. We're going to find something under the map in a future update. This update, sadly, no. But as you realize, guys, it looks like the abandoned shack 
has its secrets, but maybe something we haven't found yet. Like, I can do one final thing, and this is the craziest one. But if there's anything under this, we'll see it when we go under here like this. Okay, come on. Let me in. Oh, what? Wait, hold up. Hold up. Wait, what? We used to go for the front. I used to see everything from the front. Oh, there we go. See, like, see what I'm talking about, guys? There's... Wait, what the? Hold up. Whoa, wait, hold on. Wait. Why is there light under the floor? Wait, what? Do we actually find something? Huh? That's all outline. Wait, what? That doesn't look like a normal lighting glitch. I'm being honest, you guys. That does not look normal. That looks like something. And that's right below where I did that. Wait, hold on. Let me remove this. Let's see. Does it still do? Yeah, it still does it. Okay, so let's see the angle. Angle. Okay. So that's the same light. Wait, hold on. Why would the light go through? That's the only one, by the way. The That light right there doesn't go through. But this one... Do we find actually... Do we actually just find something? <gasps> no! Okay, this might sound like nothing to you guys. But in the cave, we actually have a similar light to this. This right here matches the cave one. Like, it stops. Actually, hold up. We, we can continue this. We can continue this. Uh... So, we now need to turn this on again. We have time off. So, we'll turn time on. And this should start moving, right? It is. Whoa. What is it? It's actually doing something. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Who thought we would have found something? I'm getting excited by a lighting glitch, probably. Okay. What are you doing, my light? What are you doing? You're moving. You're moving and grooving. We're out. I don't like this. I don't like this anymore. Let me out. Okay, I guess I guess forever we're stuck in this bed. So that's moving. It's transforming. I'm not sure if it's transforming in or out of the of the triangle form we had. Whoa. Did it I be honest? Also at the campgrounds, there's also a weird lighting glitch upstairs. But that one forms a crown. We don't know if that's actually anything because Wolfpack hasn't confirmed it. But they ha he has confirmed the lighting in the cave. So this right here might be a part of it. Okay, it's turning to a normal block now. So what we can do because we can control the lighting. We can go to 6 a.m. like this. And we can let the light actually start doing its thing. See if anything interesting here. Okay, so we loaded him in. Okay, so that kind of starts things off, I guess. So we got a little light over there. That means nothing. We got no light down here yet. Okay, okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. So this is starting to form. So I guess it starts happening after you load him in. Because I've never seen that light in here before until he's been loaded in. Okay, come on. What is it going to do? Oh, what are we going to get? The time's going to... Oh, wait, actually, hold up. Can we speed up the time? Normal time. No, I wanted to go fast, faster. Not slower. Ugh. I guess we have to just wait. Oh, yeah. There it is. It kind of looks like the crystal. But with, like, at the cave, it looks like the crystal with a stick on or a flag. And it kind of does the same type of lighting. But it does it under here as well. Well, guys, we can now investigate this a little bit further now that we know that the cave and this have a similar light. This is very similar to that. I doubt it actually is being controlled by this. So, that is a big possibility that that right there is also a secret. Remember, this is the only, as you realize, you're seeing it right now, that's the only light that is actually going down here like this. So, that is actually really cool to see. But yeah, guys, can I get out of here without freaking out? Oh, gosh, we're freaking out again. Teleport me out. There we go. But yes, guys, that is the end of the episode. And as you see, we possibly did find something new. If you missed it, go watch the video and follow my steps. One of them could have done it. 
We're going to find out later on which one it is. But thank you all for watching. And thank you all for being here. This one was a bit longer, but it was well worth it. Till next time, guys. Bye.